Amid this pandemic here at home, several presidential primaries have been rescheduled, but Wisconsin went ahead today with voting. So Mary Bruce tonight with the images. The voters determined to exercise their right. But with this virus, how much risk was involved? In Wisconsin today, thousands waiting for hours, forced to choose between protecting their own health and exercising their right to vote. The frustration, clear. I was kind of upset coming out here today. So stay home, be safe, but then they want us to come and do our civic duty. Wisconsin's Democratic governor tried to postpone the election. The state's top health official issued this warning. In-person voting would, without question, accelerate the transmission of COVID-19 and increase the number of cases. But Republican lawmakers argued elections are essential services. The courts agreed they should not be postponed. And today, President Trump urged residents to get out and vote now for a conservative judge on the ballot. But in Milwaukee tonight, there are just five polling sites open, a fraction of the usual 180, making the crowds even bigger and the wait even longer. And of course, absentee ballots are going to be a huge issue heading into November. The president was just asked about this issue in the briefing, and he was deeply skeptical, saying without evidence that people, quote, cheat, calling them, quote, very dangerous. But David, it should, of course, be noted that the president himself has voted before by absentee ballot. And of David. course, the question is, we just simply do not know how dangerous this virus will be come the fall. Anthony Fauci has said we don't know if it's going to come back. So a lot of discussion about potential absentee balloting. Mary, thanks for this. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.